we are in Meadow 6, you can see the progress. This is the skylight, and then we have the full view from the entrance into the backyard, which is still a work in progress. But you can see the entrance is here, a big, nice door on a pivot. And then we have our movie room. This is like the man cave, which we will put a TV or a projector here. Then we'll have the upstairs. Uh, but before we go upstairs, let's look at the living space. So, big windows, lots of natural light. They'll put a TV here as well with some couches. Right opposite, we have the kitchen. We're getting the stone next week, which will be the countertop on the center aisle. And we have a lot of the cabinet done, but we're still missing the kitchen sink. And we have our secret passage. The secret passage is right here. This leads us to the dirty kitchen. In the dirty kitchen, which still needs equipment like the sink, we'll have another fridge, which is right here, already installed. Nice big fridge. And then we'll have a place to do the dirty cooking, like the smelly, greasy cooking. That's why it's called the dirty kitchen with its own range and access to the outside where we'll have like a barbecue area. And this is the view from the open kitchen into the living space. Now let's go upstairs. The upstairs is five bedroom. And this is the guest bathroom with, there's be a, there'll be a garden here, an indoor garden with natural light. This is the guest bathroom. Hello, <laughs> with a cool looking mirror and a good size. Now there will be lighting under the, the stairs lighting. You can see the cables here that will power all the lights. And then when you reach the top, you have this nice big family area. And the ceilings, as you can tell, are very tall. Lots of space gives you a sense of height. Once you reach the uh, upstairs, now you can see we're closer to the skylight. That is the main door right there with a nice big window for natural light. And you can see we've added all these fancy looking lights on the side here. They kind of glow against the wall so they're not blinding you. Same with the cove lighting above us. And you can see the nice glass with another big window for more natural light. Now I mentioned there's five bedrooms. Let's start with the master bedroom, which is right here. The master bedroom has a big walk-in wardrobe, lots of closet space for the ladies, and a huge tub. Look at the size of this bathtub. I mean, it's bigger than most bathtubs. And the fact that it's circular, it's got even more volume. So there's the shower, big shower, two showers actually. And we're gonna put the tub in the corner. So there'll be room, more room for the sinks, which haven't been installed yet. And look at this beautiful view of the backyard, which is actually a park. So this is our unfinished landscaping. You can see the trees against the wall. Those will grow to be nice, big, green bushes over time. And the park has a basketball court right over there. And a pool, which you can't really see from this location, but I'll show you from another window. And a beautiful, massive glass mirror here. You can see the size of this monster. So there'll be two sinks in the master bathroom. All right, let's look at the actual bedroom. So there's more closet space here. So not only in the walk-in closet, you'll have extra closet space here. And then this is the master bedroom. Good size, massive uh, window, which is just a sliding door. And you can see the pool, a little bit better view from here. Let's go to the, third, the other bedroom, which has a better view of the pool. This is the community pool, which is open from like 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And it's literally across our backyard. So it's almost like having a big pool. 13 meters by 10 meters is the dimensions of that pool, almost a square. Uh, just across our fence. And here you have a better view of the basketball court. And this is one of the extensions we did. So the villa used to end right here. This was the end of the villa. And we added this entire space 
And it was over 700 square feet of built-up area that didn't exist before. Now here's the bathroom. It's also got a nice marble, or sorry, this is porcelain uh, wall with a matching sink and toilet, all themed correctly. Now inside the shower is a different color. You can see it uh, gives a little more variety to, to, this, to the look and feel of the bathroom. Okay, each bathroom is different. No two bathrooms are the same. So that's the first two bedrooms. Then we go to the Jack and Jill bedroom, which is sharing a bathroom. So this bathroom has a different tile than the one we just saw. Lots of nice cove lighting to give it a more subtle appearance. Now, let's go to the first Jack room. This would be for kids, typically. A bit smaller. And the one across the hall to the Jill. Which is basically the same, except the window is on the side, not the back wall. And you can see that all the AC are these nice modern strips above us, which are just more elegant than the grates you normally see on the side of the walls. Now we're going to add more lights uh, in the bedrooms, but for now this is what we have. So that was four bedrooms and here's the fifth bedroom. Now this one has its own balcony and the balcony is actually quite large. I'll show it to you later. But this is just a street view, not the park view. We're on the other side of the villa now. And you can see again the nice cove lighting, very subtle. So if we go outside, look how big the sun deck is. It doesn't just end here, it keeps wrapping around all the way to here. So we're thinking to build like a shed up here or maybe some other uh, storage for things like bed uh, mattresses and furniture. Because otherwise, what are you going to use this space for? Like it's just a massive sun deck overlooking your nice landscape, which isn't nice at the moment, but it will be. Okay. And there's lots of trees right next to us. Very green, even though this is a desert in Dubai. Okay. And let's just go to the front of the villa to show you how it looks from the street view. So let's go back downstairs. And then we can go from the backyard. So coming out one of these bifold, by the way, these are bifolding doors. They are not sliding doors. So they open completely uh, in the summertime. This is like indoor outdoor living. And the step is the same height. So you can see that it's like you're stepping outside into your garden. Here's the other bifolding door that opens completely right to the end. So here are our plants freshly added. And all this will be nice and clean with artificial grass when we're done. And the front yard has this nice aluminum fence. And then I'll show you the view from the street. So this is the street, checking there's no cars. This is our villa from the street view. I'll go this way. So there's a big garage, two car garage here. That we're going to enclose with an automatic garage door. And then when you come in to the villa, you'll see lots of trees and 
birds you can hear in the distance. And then the entrance is right here. This is where you'll come in to the front door. All right. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tour. See you next time. I am George, and take care.